This weekend, viewers are in for a special treat when the moon moves in front of the sun, blocking sunlight and creating a fantastic ring of fire in the sky. Mm -hmm. This is called an annular eclipse, not a total solar eclipse, but we'll have one of those soon as well. Here to talk about how to safely view this eclipse and what else is coming up from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center is NASA expert Noah Petro. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me on. So we're actually outside the path for this eclipse. So what does that mean for people maybe wanting to view it? Yeah, so so uh, basically for folks all across the country will have a chance to see some portion of the eclipse. As he said, there's this narrow band of, of country from Oregon to, to Texas where you'll get the, the, the total partial uh, annular eclipse, ring of fire eclipse. For everybody else outside that, that, that path, we'll get treated to a partial eclipse where, again, a, a chunk of the sun will have a, a bite taken out of it, if you will, by the moon. And uh, still a spectacular sight. Um, I'm guessing, let's see, you guys in Indianapolis will have about 40% coverage. Here in the D.C. area, we'll have about 30%. Still a, a, a wonderful opportunity to get out and bask in the, the glow of the partially covered sun. Eclipses are rare. We've been, we know that. We've, we've learned that as we've grown up. Some you can only see maybe even once per lifetime. Uh, how rare is this kind of eclipse, though? So, so the annular eclipse, again, between total and an annular eclipse, they, they happen almost every year somewhere on the on the, the planet on earth but you have to be in that right spot to be able to see it and so you know for instance in south america on saturday it will be a normal day there will be no eclipse visible so so really you have to be in the right part of the earth to see one of these total or partial solar eclipses and so um you know the last time that there was one visible in the us was 2012 of course we have the total solar eclipse next year we had a total solar eclipse in 2017. So, you know, again, right now we are very fortunate to have an opportunity to see an annular eclipse, to see a total solar eclipse. The next annular eclipse won't be visible until 2039. So, again, take the opportunity now to enjoy it and again prepare for, for next April for the total solar eclipse that will be literally in your backyard. Here's what's amazing to me is we have all this science, technology, crazy things that we see that we never thought we would see in our lifetimes, yet everybody, when these things happen, our eyes go directly to the sky, and yep. we just are in awe of what is really a natural phenomenon and not something that's technological or anything of that nature. How do the, the sun and the moon play off of each other, and why are we always so enamored by that? Well, it's a great question. And, you know, these are amazing reminders that we live on a planet in the midst of an incredible system, not just the solar system, but an Earth, Sun, Moon system. And when the three of those things interplay with each other through eclipses, we get special treats. And it's not just a, a oh, geez, this is a fun treat. This is a scientific opportunity to learn about how this system interacts with each other. Uh, you know, when we have total solar eclipses, as we will tomorrow, or uh, the annual eclipse tomorrow, or the total solar eclipse next year, NASA uses those opportunities to learn about how the sun's energy coming into the atmosphere interacts. And when we block the sun, when we block effectively all of sun, the sun's energy getting to a part of the Earth's atmosphere, we can learn about the dynamics of the atmosphere. Next year, when we have the total solar eclipse, you know, there'll be that band of the U.S. passing over Indianapolis where we will be turning off the sun for a few minutes. Well, how does the Earth's atmosphere respond to that? These natural occurrences become amazing little opportunities, free opportunities for us to take advantage and learn about this incredible system within which we live. It's it's really cool too because it's it's such a, a small part of time when you think of it as mm -hmm. as a whole, but you're going to learn so much in that little bit of time as well, which is is amazing. So, uh, how excited are you guys for 2024 as we inch closer and closer to that? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm, we're very excited for tomorrow. It's going to be an amazing opportunity, and, and again, getting more people excited about space space science is a wonderful opportunity. Next year's eclipse. If it's clear for where you are, again, an amazing opportunity, and these total eclipses are, are incredible opportunities to see the sun shut off effectively and the wonderful solar corona appear around it. But again, one thing I want to emphasize and, and hopefully really hammer home is the idea we have to do this safely. Yeah, uh, Folks should, should make sure that if you've got solar viewing glasses that they're in good working order, they're clean. Um, you, know, you should not be able to see any lights other than the sun. So if you have these Definitely want to bust them out and use them. Your, your, your very special, fun uh, sunglasses that you wear on a normal occasion, not going to cut it for tomorrow. 
If you go to go.nasa.gov slash eclipse, there's a whole host of information about how to enjoy this event and other eclipses. Most importantly, enjoy them safely.